today I just want to do a real quick video and just kind of answer one of the most common questions that I seem to get when I tell people that we're doing aquaponics uh, um, and that we're using fish, uh, fish waste or fish poop to uh, feed the plants and how it all works. And uh, I think the first question that, that comes to a lot of people's minds is, you know, how does the vegetables taste? How do things taste that grow in this? You know, people automatically kind of think uh, it's going to taste like fish poop or something like that. So um, I thought I would just kind of go through and talk a little bit about some of the things that I've grown in here in, in this system, how things have tasted compared to some of the things we've grown outside and some of the things you buy at the store. Um, of course, there's all kinds of different varieties of vegetables, and so it's hard to compare when I'm not comparing the same exact varieties and things. But uh, I just figured I would tackle this issue and just kind of talk a little bit about that. Um, so first of all, uh, anything that's grown in an aquaponics system is absolutely zero different than anything that you grow out in a garden. And so um, I always use the, the comparison for people who ask this question. Um, people constantly use manure, horse manure and things like that in gardens to fertilize gardens. And do their vegetables taste like horse manure? Of course not. Um, you know, the, the plants uptake the nutrients the same exact way they would in a garden. Um, the difference with aquaponics is that the nutrients and water is readily available all the time, 24-7 for the plants. And so they very rarely have to do any work to grow root systems to find water and find nutrients. It's all there for them. So plant, that's why things grow so much quicker in aquaponics. Um, but things don't taste any different. Um, as long as you have a, a good, healthy aquaponic system and as long as you have all the nutrients that are available to your plants, um, things are going to taste just the same as they would out, out, if they were grown outside in the garden. So um, that's one thing that uh, um, I actually kind of was curious about myself once I started growing things. You know, are, is it going to taste different? Is it going to taste better? Is it going to taste worse? Um, and overall, to answer that question, my answer is things have tasted better that we've grown in the aquaponic system. Even though my system here still isn't really balanced properly, I don't have the pH brought down yet, and I'm dealing with changing rock out and things like that, Everything that I've grown in here still tastes really good. Um, and uh, even the lettuce that I grew originally, I thought that it was a little bit bitter. Uh, it turns out we grew the same lettuce outside in our garden this year and eating it right off the plant, some of the leaf lettuce that we had, and it was a little bit bitter too. So it was just the variety that we had. Um, and, uh, so I'll go in and just kind of show you some of the vegetables that we're growing here and just kind of tell you about you know how they've tasted uh, compared to other things. I've been wanting to do this video for, for quite some time um, just because I've been asked these, these questions so much and uh, I was kind of waiting to harvest one of these, these bell peppers just to see how they tasted so I could add that in there. Um, and I just cut one of these up and uh, one of these little ones, they're, they're very small. Um, they didn't grow as, as big as they probably will once I get the system balanced out a little better. But um, uh, they, it, was, it was the sweetest red pepper that I've ever had. It almost tasted like it had a an apple flavor to it. It was so sugary and uh, and sweet. So these things were just awesome, even though they're smaller than, than they probably will get. And actually I've got some some ones that are here are larger and I think the plant has just kind of gotten a little healthier and um, yeah, the root system is probably a little bigger as it's gotten older. So now it can support these uh, peppers a little better. That one's even bigger. So, and they're not turning red yet, so they'll, they'll keep growing. But uh, the bell peppers have been just awesome and I'm, I'm looking forward to harvesting a few more of those so um, that's one that i think tastes better than the red peppers we get in the store you know the peppers you get in the store most of the time who knows where they came from probably um you know we're in michigan they may have come shipped from california they may have come from mexico or south america somewhere or who knows where else and uh by the time they get here a lot of times they don't have as much flavor they taste real watery so these things were just were, were excellent haven't tasted the dill yet, but, um, you know, we break a piece off every once in a while and, and it just smells awesome. So um, I know that that's grown really well. We've grown uh, the green beans in here, or, and this is a bush bean plant. I don't think I, it's going to give me any more beans after I almost killed it. So I'm um, covering it up and didn't give it any light because the tomato plant in here covered it up. But uh, the beans that we got off that plant were amazing. They taste exactly the same as the ones we have out in our garden, if not a little bit sweeter. So um, those were something the kids loved, and we ate those up as soon as they came off the, the plant here. Um, the celery, the celery we haven't eaten too much of. I've tasted a few pieces of it off here. Um, it's a very strong celery uh, flavor. So um, again, a lot of the stuff that we've grown in here has been a little bit stronger flavored than what you get at the store. And I think that's a good thing. That just means it has more nutrients in it most likely. So, uh, but the celery has been good. Uh, this kale, this is a, um, a blue kale. 
um, is what it was labeled as. And this has been great. This stuff has been um, just way, way, way more uh, flavorful um, and not bitter or anything like that. The stuff that we got from the store very well could have been a different variety, um, but uh, this stuff has tasted way better than anything that we've bought, organic or non-organic at the store. So uh, we really like this, and it's just blue kale is what the uh, the seeds were, were, were labeled as. So I know there's lots of different uh, flavors of, of kale out there, but um, some of the other things that we've grown in the system, um, the Swiss chard that we have back here, you can kind of see the leaves. Um, back here getting pretty big uh, that stuff I've tasted it tastes really good um, the lettuce like I said we grew before tasted very very good um, we had a few be uh, peas in here sugar snap peas and they were very good uh, so everything we've grown in the aquaponic system has tasted the same or better than the equivalent store-bought or grown in the garden so um, I can honestly answer that question and 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 uh, hopefully this helps kind of inform people. When I was first looking at the aquaponic stuff, I, I thought, you know, what's what is what's the stuff going to taste like when it grows in here? Um, but it really is it is awesome. And so I'm looking forward to uh, just getting production cranking on this system and and really getting um, uh, you know a lot of food for us out of here. So the kids love everything, and um, you know we haven't had anything that we didn't like come out of here yet. So. Uh, but hopefully that helps uh, answer that question. If you're looking at building an aquaponic system or you're just started one and you're waiting for things to grow, um, uh, I would challenge you guys that have aquaponic systems, um, throw a comment in. Tell me what your favorite thing is that you've grown in your aquaponic system. Um, tell me what you found that you know tastes the best or better than what you bought in the store that you've grown in your aquaponic system. So share that out with everybody. Everybody that's looking for aquaponic systems or watching these videos and they're reading through the comments. So share that stuff that, uh, that, that you've liked in your aquaponic system if you have one. So, um, And if you have any questions um, about what grows good, what doesn't, uh, ask away. Um, other, other viewers might answer those questions or I uh, will do my best to answer them as well. So throw those comments in. I would appreciate that. Um, give the video a thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed it or if it answered any questions for you um, or you found it informational at all and subscribe to the channel if you want to follow along with the aquaponics system here or any other sustainable or suburban homesteading type projects uh, that we have going on here. So thanks for watching. Have a good one.